Hey guys, Sammy Monster here with another time lapse video. And this video ended up being a little bit longer than I had anticipated. Um, just because I had so much footage, I had about nine and a half hours of worth of footage, which is a lot longer than I, I think it's a lot longer than I normally do. Um, I spent about three days all up on this piece, like on and off, just like working, taking my time. Um, enjoying the process because it, was, it, it ended up being a really therapeutic piece to do um, and so anyway I th tried to speed it up and um, I didn't want it too fast so it is a little bit faster than normal but um, it still ends up being like 16 minutes long so I thought I would take this opportunity to kind of have a chat with you guys if you don't want to listen to me talk um, that's okay you can hit the mute button and um, play your own music or something or watch along um, but I thought it would be a good idea to give you guys a life update and um, yeah talk about this piece um so life update um i haven't really been drawing a lot lately um due to a number of things um i got a ton like haven't been working on personal stuff um because i got a few commissions back in june july um and um before like during that time i was working part-time i don't know if i've ever mentioned this on this channel but i had a part-time job and i was working for a record label um, and it ended up, it started out as two to three days a week and that was fine. Um, and then, um, my boss was like, I can't afford to pay you for the three days. Can you just come in on a one day a week? And I was like, yeah, okay. I was a little bummed because the extra money was helping. But, um, at the same time I was like, well, now I can focus on my work and I still, um, my artwork and I still have a somewhat of a routine. I actually enjoyed working because it gave me a bit of a routine to kind of get into. But, um, yeah, I just, it was just, you know, I just blew it off and I was going in one day a week for like a month and a half. And then my boss was like, after a month and a half, he's like, look, I, I have to, I still can't afford to pay you, so um, I and I also need to pay my other workers up to date. I need to fix them up, and I was like, uh, he's like, don't come in, you know, you you know, you don't need to come in um, for like a month. Um, he's like, it will take three to four weeks to fix everybody up, and um, I'll call you. It has been a month, over a month now. It's been about five weeks, and I still haven't received a phone call. Um, so <laughs> I don't think I have a job anymore, which kind of sucks and it kind of put me in a really dark place. Like it, it made me angry and upset um, at when he told me not to come in because I was like, what have I done? I worked my butt off at that job. I worked really hard because I really wanted to work in the music industry, but after that fiasco, I don't think I want to work in the music industry anymore. But um, yeah, it really, really hit me hard because I, um, it just, I didn't know what I had done. I thought it was my fault, and you know, I know it's not my fault. Um, he, because I worked really hard. Like I said, I worked really hard. I did all my work. Um, I did the right thing, you know. Um, and I was kind of thrown under the bus, um, here and there with the job. Um, so it was kind of a kick in the gut and it, it got me really down. Um, but the commissions were really good. Um, I earned a little bit of extra money as well um, here and there because I don't really make much money, if any, off my artwork, which is a shame. But um, I'm hoping to kind of focus on that now and to, to make more art and try and think of ways I can sell art because at the moment I'm in a financial situation where I can work from home. Um, I have been trying to look for other work but it hasn't been easy but um, yeah so if you do want a commission um, stay tuned I will make an announcement video when I'm opening them up. I just at the moment I'm taking a break from all other people's work and kind of working on some personal projects. Um, and thinking of things that I can sell and coming up with is trying to find um, way things that I can make to sell on my store and um, I have a store envy store and I'm trying to kind of work out how much postage and handling is going to cost and what I need to have it up and running. 
so yeah stay tuned for that there will be and hopefully be an announcement video in the future but the commissions were really fun um the commission started in i think june um my best friend approached me and asked if i could do a mutual friend a deadpool and I was like, yeah, I can, she's like, can you draw a Deadpool? I was like, yeah, I can draw a Deadpool. I, well, I could try anyway. <laughs> um, I was like, um, she's like, I don't know much about him. So I, <laughs> I had this idea in mind anyway of Deadpool in a maid uniform and I ended up drawing Deadpool, a chibi version of Deadpool in a maid uniform and it turned out awesome. And it was, it's probably one of the pieces that I am most proud of and probably the most popular piece on Instagram this year. Um, uh, you can follow me on Instagram if you have Instagram. It's down in the description. It'll be down in the description. My username will be down in below. Um, so after that, I posted, when, once she gave it to her friend, our friend, I posted on Instagram, um, Facebook, and another friend approached me and asked me to do another Deadpool. And I was like, okay, anything for a quick buck. Um, and I end up doing a two, two pieces, a Deadpool and a Harley. Again, I think they're on my Instagram, so if you want to check them out, um, go follow me on Instagram. You can also find me on Twitter, Tumblr, and Facebook, and that'll all be in the description box below. Um, but yeah, so, um, I also, I also did another commission piece, but it was actually a competition piece, so I did it for nothing. Um, and that was a video so if you want to check that out i will leave a link in the description for that as well um bandy the oc was i drew someone's oc and it was really fun and i really enjoyed the process but um after that i took a break from drawing because like i said i was going through a lot but um anyway let's move on from the negative and also the positive and we'll talk about this piece so in case you didn't know who I was drawing I am drawing Batgirl I'm actually drawing the version from the Batgirl from Burnside comic which is a pretty decent comic like I'm not crazy about it I've only read the first volume but um, it was it, it's good and I think I think it misses my target audience I think it's for a younger audience but I still think it's really good for young girls um, definitely check it out if you're a younger girl and you are into Batman, Batgirl. Um, Batgirl is one of my favorite characters and um, she has a really interesting history. Um, she is Barbara Gordon, for those who don't know. Barbara Gordon is the daughter of Commissioner Gordon. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to draw her. I really had the urge and it was really fun. And I just took my time. I did it over three days. And yeah, like I said, I just really took my time and um, fixed up what I didn't like. I worked really hard on pieces, on areas, <laughs> more, some areas more so than others, and I reworked them. If I didn't like how they were turning out, I went back and started them all again. So um, yeah, it was just it was just really nice to kind of um, perfect something. I mean, it's still not amazing, but um, I really liked how her hair turned out. I really like her face. Um, you know, I, I don't particularly like her lips and I'm not a fan of her jacket or the clips of her cape. I'm also not a fan of the yellow parts in this, but um, if I could sit here and nitpick all day, I would. So if you didn't know, um, Batgirl was redesigned as of two years ago now I think I don't know um anyway she was redesigned by um Babs Tarr and Cameron Stewart who um did the art for Batgirl of Burnside and their work is amazing they're amazing artists I'm a big fan of Babs Tarr um Cameron Stewart I'm not too familiar with I think he works on Gotham Academy as well which I haven't read but I definitely want to read it because I'm all about Batman and the world of Gotham but um and I heard, I heard um, Waffles talking about how it's like Harry Potter for superheroes. And I was like, yeah, I could see myself being down for that. Um, if you don't know who Waffles is, she has a YouTube channel and she's really, she's, her stuff is really adorable. I love her work. But um, so yeah, if you noticed in the beginning, I went and I did a lot of research on um, the this particular look of Batgirl. Um, I think I kind of tried to emulate Babs Tarr's style, um, but the, the style of Babs Tarr and Cameron Stewart. Um, but yeah, I just had a lot of fun. Um, I want, I'm thinking 
I'm just taking it. I want to do a series because I, 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 if you follow me on Instagram, you probably know that, or Tumblr or Twitter, you probably know that I've also done a Harley Quinn, um, which there is video coming for that too soon. Um, I don't know when, and I don't know if I'll do a voiceover, but I was thinking of maybe um, doing another chat and draw where I give you guys some hints and tips on how I use Clip Studio Paint because um, I've been using it for such a long time and. Um, I don't say I, I can't say I'm an expert I feel really weird about giving advice but um, on um, drawing and things like that but I figured I could show you what tools I use maybe slow down some areas so you can see what I'm doing um, talk about tools that I have used on here um, that I don't use anymore just because I found other ways to do it but um, yeah, if you're interested in that, please feel free to let me know. I'll probably still just give you guys some hints and tips anyways, regardless, because I'm kind of just doing my own thing. I don't really get many views. I'm going to try, I'm been trying to work on getting out there on the internet and talking to people and trying to promote the crap out of this channel, but um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how we go. But um, what else can I say? Um, yeah, so... Let me talk a little bit about the history of Batgirl. So, like I said, Batgirl is the daughter is Barbara Gordon. She is the daughter of Commissioner Gordon, who is a man that Batman looks up to, and and Commissioner Gordon kind of lets Batman get away with a lot of stuff. Like there's some stuff that even I think Batman shouldn't do. But um, the reason I like Batgirl is I love I love Batman, and for those who don't know me on a personal level, uh, I have been like obsessed with like. I, me and Batman, I've been obsessed with Batman for the last couple of years now, and um, when I played Arkham Knight last year, I really got into finding out more about Barbara Gordon and Jason Todd, and they had really interesting stories. So um, Barbara was shot by the Joker, and she was left in a wheelchair because like it severed her spine, uh, spinal cord or something. I don't know, but. Um, after that she became the oracle um and she's really really smart like super smart um ridiculously smart <laughs> but um eventually she learned how to walk again um the if you haven't read the killing joke it is a really good comic just for the relationship between batman and joker um i only discovered it like last year but um it's a really good comic it's really well written alan moore is is a good writer so um yeah she eventually gets the ability to, she learns how to walk again and um she was she learned how to walk in and then they started the new 52 Batgirl and then after that was the Batgirl of Burnside which I think is a really good comic for younger girls I think I missed the mark with me but um I I just really like the the story behind like her I think it's far more interesting than Batman the same with Jason Todd I think they have more interesting origin stories than Batman because we hear Batman's in every single movie and every single cartoon and it kind of just like plays on and on and you think once a man turns a certain age that he would kind of have dealt with it I mean you know morning is okay but it's kind of ridiculous how they they treat Batman's parents death but um <laughs> I love Batman I, I think he's a great superhero he's my favorite um and then probably Deadpool um but I don't know I think Bat Batgirl kind of kicks Batman's ass big um yeah she kicks his butt I'm sorry if I said the a word <laughs> I know that YouTube's kind of getting cracking down on um swearing and things like that so uh, it doesn't matter um if i get banned you know why but um i really like how her hair turned out i really i really really wanted her hair to look good i feel like i want that's what i wanted to focus on in this piece that, that flowing hair um i really wanted this piece to kind of capture some kind of movement i don't know if i was successful in that i don't think i was because I still have a lot to learn but um we're getting close to the end of this video so I really hope you guys liked it um and I really hope you like Batgirl because you know I like I said I want to work on a series 
I don't know if I did say that. I did do Harley Quinn and I want to do Catwoman and Ivy. So stay tuned for those because they're all my favorite ladies. Harley Quinn is probably my favorite. Um, she used to be. I don't know if she still is, but um, that girl is pretty close. So um, yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. And oh, this, well, let's actually quickly talk about the background. I'm not crazy about the background, but I do like the colors. So I was really inspired by the 80s I guess that bright purple and bright pink so um I don't know uh the clouds are really crap I don't like them but um yeah that's pretty much all I can say about this piece so I hope you did like this if you do like it please feel free to give me a thumbs up if you want to stay up to date with videos please subscribe um you can get notifications for it as well I think um but yeah I hope you guys are having a great day or night wherever you are and I appreciate you watching this if you do watch it so thank you it means a lot to me I will talk to you all hopefully in the next video so um bye